a whole blast right there. So you want to get them to opt in. So those are critical things. All right, so here's some other techniques that can really help you get more listenership for your podcast. So the first one has to do with a, 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 an inexpensive audio recording device called SpeakPipe, S-P-E-A-K-P-I-P-E. And this is something, it's kind of a widget that you can put on your website or blog and people can click a button and leave you a voice message. And then you get an email that says, hey, you got a voice message and you can listen to it right there or you can click over to speakpipe.com and listen to it there. It doesn't matter. It used to be totally free, but now it's, it's just dirt cheap. All right, so if you have that mechanism in place, there's a really cool marketing technique. I'm not sure I said it on any other versions of this podcast, but where you search out Facebook groups that have lots of members in either your topic or something complementary to your topic. And you approach the admins to the group. Now, there's actually two, two tips here in one. And both of them have to do with Facebook. So this is the speak pipe method, and then there's another method we'll talk about in a second. So you approach the admin and you say, look, I'm doing a, uh, I know I did one on insurance, business insurance lately. So I went to these big insurance groups, Facebook groups, and I contacted the admins and said, hey, I'm doing a podcast on business insurance and wonder if you'd leave me like a three-minute uh, voice tip that I could edit into the podcast. And uh, two out of the three people I asked actually got it by the deadline, and they went to SpeakPipe. They recorded their tip. I took the MP3 file off of SpeakPipe and edited it in to my podcast. And you say, well, okay, that was cool. You got some free advice, and uh, you got a little extra editing time and to edit it in. So what's the big